When we first start drawing something, we need to work out the proportions. And the most basic proportion would be the height compared to the width. And if I was drawing this teapot, I would look at the height and try and guess how many times it fits into the width. And I think it would be perhaps one and a half times the height to make the width, maybe a bit less, something like that. So we'd be basically looking at this measurement and comparing it to this one. Um, and we could check that because of the way we're doing this by just flipping this around. And you can see it's, it's a little bit less than one and a half times, but it's something like that. Um, and th that helps us to, to um, orient our subject onto the page. Just, just even that will be, will be a helpful measurement to make. As I say, these measurements might be approximate because we're just doing them by eye. You do often see artists or people drawing using their hand outstretched with a pencil and they're literally using the pencil to measure and you can do that as well. Um, but you can also just do it by eye. And then, for example, we might do the same with this, um, the ellipse of the lid. So you might want to look at that shape and maybe work out what that dimension is compared to that one. It looks to me like that height is about a bit less than half of that width on either side and that will help us to work out what sort of ellipse we're drawing. You could for example look at things like how much this handle sticks out compared to this spout and you can see that these are not universal questions, they're, they're just questions that you're asking yourself in order to, to make an, um, an assessment for your drawing. So you could look at any number of, of measurements, for example, how far along this line does that come? And it's about halfway, so you've just got yourself a little measurement there. You could then say, is this width? about the same as this one. And it is, and all of these things are just helping to put your eye in for, for understanding what you're looking at. You can um, look at other things too. For example, I mentioned in my um, introduction to drawing that whether things have a centre line. And we can see that this teapot has a centre line. And because of the angle on, on our page, this centre line makes a kind of shallow, if you compare it to a parallel line here, it's quite a tight angle there. And it, that, you know, not everybody will find that useful, but for some people, looking at that and working out the angle of it is going to help them align their drawing. We don't make these observations in order to have a completely clear idea in our minds before we start drawing. We make the observations as we're drawing because it's a way of making sure that our eyes are in charge. We don't want to start thinking about the snapshot we have of the teapot and then trying to recreate that. We want to actually draw what's in front of us. We want to be, make sure we're observing what is there and drawing that because that's the only way to draw. We're not drawing something that we've got in our minds, we're drawing something that's in front of us and by staging these questions and answering them, it forces you to actually look at what's there and it forces you to become familiar with what's there as you're drawing it.